Hi guys, Pearl here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about handstands. So I wanted to share with you some of the reasons that you might not be able to do the handstand and look at uh, mobility drills which will help improve your handstand and also look at some ways that you can overcome fear of being upside down, look at some shoulder strengthening exercises and look at some progressions once you have the handstand. I've also included a little bit of background information about myself and about how frequent I train and I've answered a few of the questions that I got asked on my Instagram. So I think to achieve the handstand it requires three things, patience, dedication and practice. So should you have restrictions in your posture it's going to make the handstand near enough impossible and you'll probably end up doing like a banana back handstand where you, you're basically in like a C shape which you don't want because you're going to put unnecessary stress on your joints so I would work on the mobility first before you start to try to kick up into handstand just to save yourself from injury.
I got asked a few questions on my Instagram about um, how long I've been doing gymnastics for and how many times a week do I practice. So I began to do gymnastics when I was younger. Um, it was nothing professional. Um, I didn't attend any classes or anything like that. It was more just self self taught. Um, I used to just love to kick up in a handstand and try a handstand walk and try to flip myself over. And I guess the love of it come back um, just a few years ago. I um, started to attend like gymnastic strength training in the gym that I work in, sort of movements, um, which is taught by Colin. And that was um, a lot of conditioning exercises for the handstands, cartwheels, and things like that. And I've always really tried to practice some form of um, being upside down as well, like in my own in my own time, because I think it's just a really good way to strengthen your shoulders and your back. So I use it as more kind of a conditioning. Um, exercise as well for my training and at the moment as well I'm also attending an adults gymnastics session in Leeds Gymnastics Club and I, I attend there once a week for two hours um, on a Tuesday evening and it's half eight till half ten which is quite late and I'm usually absolutely knackered but by the time I get there and we warm up my energy comes and I don't, I don't know where it comes from but it's just fun and it doesn't feel like a chore so um, so all in all I do around about four hours of like conditioning kind of strength exercises for gymnastics per week. Sometimes people like ask how, how many times should I practice a handstand and I think it, the answer is it absolutely depends on your um, level at the moment. It depends on your background, it depends on your mobility, it depends on how tired you're getting during the sessions and I think these are all things that you need to figure out for yourself. I think um, trying to do like around about three or four sets of a drill is enough um, and however many repetitions you feel is appropriate for your body. So if you do three and you're absolutely knackered then you stick with that. Um, if you can go to ten repetitions and carry on then, then listen to your body. And also give yourself enough, enough recovery so um, I recommend like obviously taking the day after off from the practice, especially if your shoulders are sore, and then try in the following day after that, so two days after, to get back to it. If you're still sore, then maybe leave it three days, uh, depending on your level. One thing to point out though is, if you're gonna have restrictions for the handstand, you do need to work on mobility on a daily basis, so it doesn't have to be for too long. I have got a mobility video for if you've got um, upper body tightness so in your chest and your back and your shoulders which, I could, which is in this box here and hopefully that will open you up a little bit more and make you feel a little bit more free for when you do your handstand practice. It's called a handstand practice for a reason because you do actually have to practice. Um, I'm not perfect and mine is still very inconsistent. It takes a while for my body to warm up and to being able to hold it for a long time. But once you find that sweet spot where your tailbone's tucked under and your uh, shoulders are, your hips are directly above your shoulders, it'll start to feel very light and very easy. But until you get there, then you need to be constantly working on it. Um, and I'd say, obviously, as previously, giving yourself enough recovery, but also getting back to it and adding it into all these sessions that you're doing in the gym or at home. Hopefully this video would have been helpful. If you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment in the box below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, there's gonna be weekly content coming to this channel, so subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you next time.